Hi everybody, uh, welcome back to Craft with Norma. Today I'm going to go through three of my fabric rag journals uh, that I've just completed uh, and are now available in my Etsy shop. Um, on all three of them they are made with Tim Holtz fabrics and also Tim Holtz papers, um, some of his pictures, uh, lots of his stamps, so it's my sort of um, take on his um, journals. So we'll start with uh, we'll start with the little girl. So I've called her the little girl blue. So it's made up of a collage. Uh, I've got a rusty old sa safety pin there with some little teeny weeny buttons. Um, let me just zoom in a little bit more. There you go. And um, just some rags. And then this material here is sort of like roses, which for me is quite um, floral. I don't normally do floral, but uh, I, I quite like it. And with all of his papers and cards, they all intermatch colour-wise. Uh, and then I've just added some bits and pieces of my own uh, where um, I thought they would go in. So if we open her up, uh, the book itself has got a linen background, and then I've got strips of linen that's sewn in uh, and there's three uh, sets of signatures to hold all the pages in. So on this one we've just got a band of his papers coming across there which I've collaged on and then I've just done two um, tags, double sided tags. So this one's using the material that matches to the front and this is part of his collage uh, papers that I've used there and if we turn it over it's just a piece of his um, papers there which I absolutely adore. So we'll pop those in there and this one again is another tag and again I've done it double sided with a rusty um, safety pin there that I've had outside my back doorstep in water, did a, a load of them and they've just slowly rusted, uh, rusted down. Um, so I'm um, trying to use those and again I'm just trying to use all the photos and the bits and pieces that I've got left. I've not reprinted anything at all. And on this one we've got a little tag base there and I've just put these little, um, we can't see them, these little jangles, there you go, you can uh, see them there. And then this folds over, so this is the first signature. And this is two pieces of his uh, card stock and it's just folded over. So on this one I've got a tag that's looking up and a tag that's looking down. One of his little uh, photos there um, and then this flips out like so. Let me just move that across and here we've got uh, again a collage uh, and a tag. Uh, now these tags, you'll see this, this sort of like coffee stain card. I've done a lot of those. I love the card stock. It was given to me in a bundle of um, cardstock that was heading for landfill um, and it coffee stains lovely so you see I've used this right the way through uh, all the books and then here we've got a tag uh, and a <coughs> excuse me a collage and on the back of this card I've just used one of his number stamps from the field notes just to give it a, a background and then moving along we've got then an envelope which is made from a um, loose sort of linen really and again it's one of his collages and that just opens out like so and um, we've got a little ticket that's uh, in there and again it's got a piece of fabric, it's got his card and that's just one sided and that just slots in there so you can add as many things as you want into that uh, little envelope. And then that flips over and again we've just got a collage of his papers there on the background. And here we've got sewn in, again it's the same material as the front of the book, it's that rose uh, material, the floral. And that's just attached then to the linen um, strip that I've used for the signature. Now this one um, really was a happy accident because I put this is part of the back of the card um, of the index um, folder 
and I put that one in thinking it was going to slide in and out and then when I sewed along there I actually sewed the card into it so I've just made it a double whammy and then I've gone and put in a little tiny card there uh, with a pocket that keeps those tickets in so that was purely a happy accident so that slots in there and if we turn over we've got the other side there and I've got this ticket here again uh, with a band running across there that slots into there like so Oops. and that slots into there like that <coughs> oh excuse me and then that is the centre um, of the signatures so you can see the little stitching that's running down there and here we've got a tag uh, again using his papers and on here I've gone and used some um, of the white embossing powders just to give it a bit of texture as well and then on this third signature I've got another envelope but this time I've made it with the same linen as the inside of the uh, book and a little collage there and again we've gone and used one of the collage papers, the tissue papers um, and again we've got a little tiny ticket that slots into there with some white embossing powder on and then here we've got a double one again so I've kept it together by using a little clip and I've just made a couple of tags as you can see there, put those there and then in here we've got a little um, note <coughs> and this time I've used the tag as a, as a circle to pull in and out and on the reverse we've got a little collage of uh, papers and then that opens out and here we've got a strip which is holding a picture of two little girls that I've made into uh, a cabinet card and that just slots into there like so and then we've put a clip back on there to hold everything together and then this I must admit this is my favourite paper I do like that paper uh, and I've got a fabric book that's made of the same paper that's of the material <coughs> oh excuse me just hope I'm not heading for tonsillitis so on this back bit we've just got a band there that's going to hold this um, card here that you can sort of journal on and a little tag pocket there for that tag to go in and again it's double sided and that slots into there like that and again one of my uh, rusty safety pins so that's uh, little girl blue and as I say she's in my Etsy shop so we'll put her to one side and then this is the fabric and the paper that I absolutely love I think it's a gorgeous colour uh, it goes so well together and um, really like it. So on this one, in front of this one I've just done a collage and I've used a little picture of some uh, a family on the beach. Again with a rusty safety pin and some little buttons and that opens out like so and we've got a corner pocket there with two tags and this time I've put a couple of labels there as well, little tiny tags and we've got this is um, material from an upholstery book and it's double sided, I've just put a little collage there. And this one is two girls down at the beach and this flips up uh, and I say it's just uh, hidden, it's just another layer to it and that slots into there like so. <coughs> oh, excuse me, there we go. And then on this one it's a really big tag, the first page there and I've used some of the very open weave linen um, as part of the collage and then on this side we've got another rusty tin uh, with some of that open weave and some of the same material that I've used for the signatures there and just a little bit of um, I think that's actually bandage and then that was from a Halloween material that was in one of the shops and I just stained it and there and then here we've got a double page so this one's made out to be like a tag and that opens out and here we've got a strip running across there and then we've got this young girl uh, leaning on a table and a little collage at the back and that just slots into there like so that flips across and hey presto you come to here so again this is the family down the beach that's a great gang um, of a vintage photo of uh, um, I'm, I'm assuming it's sort of like 
I don't know. But having that little um, bathing hot on wheels, I think it's from Victorian times, but not sure. And then here we've got another envelope, and again we've got a little scene down the beach with the donkey rides. And then another collage there from um, Tim Holtz, and it's got a date there of 1930. A little pocket and then just a little collage uh, card inside. And then on this side, on the, we've just got a very, very large um, card with some tags on both sides. So that side's got some tags and this one's got some uh, dangly tags, a little collage. And then on this one, on the last signature, we've got a very large ticket that's upside down. Um, and again, it's got, I've put some little tags down there on the bottom, as you can see. And that flips over, and there on this side we've got a very large ticket with a smaller ticket inside. And again, I do love that paper, and that just slots into there like so. And then on this side we've got, again, we've got a little collage. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And then here we've just got a... Um, card that's made into a filing uh, index card and then I've just added this card in like so which should have been what happened in the other book but as I say the other book I actually sewed it in so hey yeah, presto and then a little collage there and then on the last page on the cover we've got a strip coming down here uh, with a little collage there and then we've got two tags so we've got one that's been cut out using a Sussex die uh, for that one. And on this one it's using that uh, card, that coffee stain. Um, that imprint there is actually off my table in the garden where it's imprinted on it while it was drying. So that's that one. And as I say, I love that, uh, that material. And then on to the last one which is um, again using his fabrics and I do like this um, fabric with the writing on and here we've got a picture of a, an older lady um, and the backing is the plain white linen and again the rusty pin with the little tiny black buttons and then that opens out to a inside page where I've got um, just an index card and again, I love those colours, really do. That slots into there. And on this one, we've got, again, a pocket. Only this time I've run a strip of the rose-coloured material right, right the way along uh, through the whole of the, um, the, whole of the uh, pocket itself. Uh, rusty tin, uh, sorry, a rusty pin with a little tag there. And then here I've got a little tiny circle with a teeny-weeny green um, pin that I've put in there that I found which I thought the colour matched quite well and that opens up and we've just got a little um, pocket there with a ticket in it and that just slots into there like that and here we've got this is a double sided one so again I've used one of the pins uh, clips um, so it's a bulb pin on a clip with a piece of fabric and a couple of dangles on there. <coughs> and this time I've used some of the Tim Holtz um, numbered collage paper and uh, put it on a piece of material, which has got a very waxy feel to it. And I've used that as the hinge uh, for that one. And that's just a little uh, pocket there for that ticket to go in. And then here, if we move it along, you can see I've used the same material, only this time I've used the um, stamp on it and sewn it in. So that's the sort of hinge for that card to go in. And then just a little ticket that uh, slots into that corner pocket there. And then moving on, we've got this one here, which is a large piece of card. And again, I've done it as an index. And so here we've got a big card that slots in and out. Um, for journaling on if you wanted to journal on it and that flips over and we've got a collage there <coughs> oh excuse me 
got a real tickle. And then this is the um, the centre of all the uh, signatures. So again, you can see where it's sewn down. And this one is a really large ticket um, tag that's upside down with another dangly just on there. And then I've just done a tag collage on the back and the front that slots into there like so. And then that flips open. And again, I've used some of that orange um, fabric to attach it to the, um, the strip for the signatures. And another pocket. And this time I've used some white uh, embossing powders on there just to uh, give you an idea um, of the pocket. And here again we've got a collage at the back. And then on this one, and again I love the, uh, the paper on this one, uh, that flips open and we've got a little collage there, different tags and a collage there too. Um, all sort of like colour coordinating, which is what I like about Tim Holtz's um, range to be honest, because it all does colour coordinate. And then here we've got another collage and again I've used a little tiny um, safety pin. Uh, and they're all ready, all nice and juicy and rusty to, to use. And then on this back page I've got a pocket there with um, a huge tag of an image and I do like that image. I originally saw it with a Graphic Fairy and then Tracy Fox um, had it as a, as a kit which uh, is where that, uh, that came from. And then that just slots into there like that and slots into the back. And that's it for this journal. So thank you for watching. I hope it gives you some in inspiration. Uh, not only just for using what you already got and you haven't got to reprint anything else out, but just some ideas for you to, uh, to use. Uh, and I do love making these uh, different journals, I must admit. So thank you for watching. Uh, if you are a um, subscriber, thank you do appreciate it and don't forget to press the like button because it does help my channel and also if you press the bell icon for my next one you will um, be automatically reminded that I'm there so don't forget to check me out and thank you so much for watching I'll see you soon thanks bye